My name is Barry O'Kelly, Operations Manager of the Fines Fine Boat and Maritime Museum here in Fines, County Limerick. The famous aviator Charles Lindbergh surveyed Fines as a potential flying boat base and it was chosen because it has a deep water harbour, it is sheltered by Fines Island and actually had the infrastructure in place to cater for commercial traffic. Visitors to the museum go on board the world's only Boeing B314 flying boat and they get to experience what it was like to fly back in the 1940s. Fines became the Casablanca of Europe for commercial aviation during that time. Visitors to the museum get to walk in the footsteps of Hollywood icons, military personnel, politicians, VIPs. Three major airlines flew to Fines back in the 1940s. They were Pan American Airways, you can see the emblem here behind me. British Overseas Airways and American Export Airlines and they all came to Fines between 1939 and 1945. Flights across the Atlantic roughly took about 15 to 17 hours depending on the weather conditions and all flying boats had to land in fines to refuel to continue on their journey either across the Atlantic or the Irish Sea. Fines became Ireland's first transatlantic airport and for a short time it became the centre of the aviation world between 1939 and 1945, right throughout the Second World War.